Hi guys, uh, this is Rakesh here from Magis, uh, and in today's uh, motion graphic uh, tutorial, I'm going to try and create kind of like an abstract, organic looking uh, 3D render of sorts. I'm going to be using Octane so that you know the render is quite fast or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's start with a basic shape. We can go with any shape actually. Basic. This thing works for anything. I'm just going going to go with the tonic uh, with the tetra. Uh, type selected, convert it to editable poly. Uh, this is going to be like just a quick uh, modeling class, also, I believe. Uh, let me see. So, I'm going to just bevel this edge. Uh, the shortcut keys M, and as you can see, if you see the alphabets, the one from top to bottom, uh, S, is the bevel one. So, I'm going to hit bevel, click and drag, and I will give a round number, like usually. Sixty, I believe. Yeah, uh, I'm going to select these faces, holding shift. Uh, again, these shapes do not matter. It's just like you just keep working with it. You'll get better ideas. I'm going to hit M again, and then what I need to do is I need to uh, extrude inner. Um, in other softwares, I believe it's called inset or something like that. Yeah, so extrude inner. I'm going to hit W. I'm going to click and drag it inside. Even this, I will just give it like a round number of uh, sixteen. Um, then I'm going to extrude it outside. I'm going to hit M, extrude, extrude, let's see, extrude T, okay, and just pull it out. I'm going to bring it to one segment of 25 for now. Yeah. I'm going to select these guys as well. And. Um, Holding shift, I'm going to do an inset on these guys as well. So the inset was, uh, what was this? Extrude in a W. Put it in, we get about like six. Um, extrude it again, W, no, sorry, M and T, I believe. T, 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 yep. And I'm going to pull it, make it go like inside a bit this time. Scale it down a bit, like pre uh, selecting the scale tool and just like scaling it down a bit. I just leave it there, you know, like, uh, like a weird shape of sort. Uh, we're not done yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm also um, going to like bridge this across and bring it like up here to this guy or maybe bridge this, bring it to this guy. Oh, okay. Let me bridge this and bring it to this guy. That, that sounds interesting. So I'm going to select this, like this, select this, select this. Let me start anything else. No. While you're at it, might as well do for this guy as well. So, so like this, like this. This is basically a trick of sort. You can just use the same like one trick pony actually if you want. But I would recommend you just keep testing and inventing your own ways. Uh, for now, I'm going to select extrude. Bring it out. And I believe I'll extrude it one more time. Oh, wrong direction. Sorry. Okay, and just maybe something like something like that. That looks interesting, I believe. Yep, yep. And the last tool is bridge. I like this tool a lot um, in Cinema 4D, especially because this is like quite intuitive here. It's very fast and it's like very robust. It's helpful. It doesn't like bug me a lot, and I don't need to do like select and click and select and click. Like I'm natively, I've been using Max most of the time and when I've been using Max most of the time it's just been like uh, it's a good experience but it's been a pain this one on the other hand so some reason is quite quite well done time and let's see if I can make this happen so M and oh wait sorry bridge where's bridge B okay I don't know if this actually works I'm just gonna try this for the first time myself actually does it work I don't believe it does work like that 
Does it look like that? Okay, so if this guy works, this doesn't. Okay, okay, I see. All right, so I guess I can't do it like that way. Let me just hit um, M W. Put that in like that, roughly at seven, I guess, and just extrude that a bit out like that. Just giving it a good shape, so you can see that this is very weird looking thingy well we're not done we're far from done actually i'm going to use the smoothing and just make it a child yeah it's doing something really wonky right now but that, that's the overall the look that we want to go for so it's like very organic feel right and that's not uh, giving us enough subdivisions. I'm just going to put it inside of subdivisions. And yeah, we're kind of having this weird. I don't know, it reminds me of an octopus or something. I'm going to just increase this smooth thing. I'm going to just. We can see. Like, let's see what can I do with this guy. Working on this. And fine. I guess this is okay for now. Just have a beginning. Alright, so. What do we do next is um, basically. We're going to be um, using the cloner um, and just cloning this whole thing in a circle, like in a radial setup. So, and that's pretty much like most of the thing that gets it done. So, it's a, and then after that, it's just a set of combinations that we need to know what to do with it. So, I'm going to select this guy and uh, we need more of them. So, for now, I guess. That should be good. Eight, I believe nine should be fine. And we're gonna do like twisting it in its axis, individual axis, and seeing what do we get that is interesting. Okay. Alright, that 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 is kind of interesting. Now you can see these meshes that are going in between here and they're not exactly like con like connecting properly. So for that reason I will use the connect thing inside and make this a parent of that so then you know like these guys are going to be connected um, hopefully and um, yeah let's select the camera shift C reset it and pull it back look through the camera select that go back go back go back go back okay After this is just you're just trying different different types of uh, lighting I guess so for example area light select a tag make a target select the cloner as the target move this guy to one side and wait one second let me, let me do it like an easier way select move this guy there control move this guy here so I have two lighting set up in my scene so this guy I'm gonna name it as blue and this guy will be yellow it kind of gives like a more realistic feel actually if you give those kind of a contrasting colors just for test this is just testing don't judge me okay obviously there's no like, shadows what was it what was it thinking that was just so hard okay one set done second is this guy needs to be blue that, that mm, that's what i was just discussing right so it has to be like a dark kind of like a blue tone to it same way it has a yellow orangish don't this guy on the top view I might I, I don't know if I'm like I don't know right now what is the camera angles I want for but I believe I will go for this for now okay that's fine uh, obviously the if you like spend more time on the lighting and all that stuff you can get some good output actually um, I would also go with global illumination so I'll just go for physical effect ambient occlusion global illumination and the object preview default let's see what we get with this guy it's already like i think i kind of like it already the feel that it's giving me in this video um 
the image looks good uh, we can push it more if we go with like um, volumetric lighting actually so visibility i can use volumetric lighting but i have to change this to like um, i believe it's omni and then i have to go for like volumetric testing again i don't know is it going to give me what i think what i think it's going to give me kind of yeah yes kind of does though but not quite i'm just going to cut it down because I, I i need to make sure that i don't get confused with the lights um i'm going to bring it there and make it like look like it's kind of converging here bring it here not knowing exactly how this is going to look actually but i believe it should look fine just fine all the best and let's hit render and check not bad actually let's say if you want to animate this in a loop uh, i would recommend that you just select the platonic uh, when you're animating because do not select the clone it's going to get quite confusing so if i want to do that i would actually uh, select this uh, hit the animate button go to the last frame and just rotate okay by the way if it starts getting laggy it's because the connect is on if you switch off the connect Voila, it's like it's quite like speed it up again right so i'm just gonna go and just say 160 degrees this is just manual work now you just have to make sure that you know where does it start and where does it end obviously there will be a point where it starts and ends and all that stuff so you need to just know your stuff so you can see that you can actually animate it like that also and it'll quite give like quite interesting tone like psychedelic stuff going on in itself well yeah so basically yeah as you can see the output can look like this or like this um keep experimenting keep rendering thanks for watching guys bye bye